everyone, it's Blakeberry, and welcome to my first video about my favorites in forever. I have been crazy, just like out and about with life. I made a big move from Manhattan to Brooklyn, testing out the Brooklyn borough, and I'm loving it so far, especially with all this natural light that I have. I know it's showing up a little weird here, but this lighting is all from the sun because I have this gigantic window in my bedroom, and I love it. So that wasn't the best pitch, but like, I'll continue. So what better way than to welcome all my viewers back to my YouTube channel with a not an April favorites. I know it's, what is today? Today is May 3rd, Saturday, May 3rd. Um, I was going to do an April favorites, but I've been, like I said, moving and my life's just been crazy with work and like things after work, crazy. Um, that I would just do like kind of like a couple month favorites from February to April. There's not too many things, um, cause most of the stuff I've been buying is stuff from my apartment, which is boring. But we all go through that in life, so let's get right into my favorite things for the past couple months. One of them being this bag that I just recently got from Bagu. It is this amazing blue, like light navy blue and um, canvas tote. It is perfect. Um, like I said, the company is a Bagu. Obviously, I'm not sponsored by any of the things I'm showing in this video. But it's got these short handles, and then just in case you want to take it to the beach or something, which this is kind of like the perfect perfect beach or uh, park bag. It's got this nice strap, um, and it's not too long, so it still feels like secure and whatever the case may be. It does have um, a button closure on top here, so it's nice and secure. And then it also has this... Um, pocket on the inside that is also um, closable and perfect for like your wallet or um, your ID or if you're taking it to work or something. Um, like I said, I moved to Brooklyn so now I have a commute to work and um, I use this bag a bunch of times because it's perfect for like your umbrella just in case it's gonna rain, um, anything, maybe some groceries, like oh I have to get some stuff, just save a bag and just put it in your reusable tote. Um, it's canvas. I think on the website it's $26 for one of these. They come in all sorts of colors, all sorts of patterns, and they do have an upgraded, not upgraded, but they do have like a leather version, um, which is like cool, but it's, I think it's overpriced, so that's why I'm never going to get that. But I do love this canvas bag, like I said, from Bagu. It's beautiful. So moving on, I put all my goodies in the bag. Um, since I did move recently... I have this like beautiful canvas behind me to kind of decorate as to have a background unlike before with my stickers that I had on my wall um, and since I can't apparently seem to escape the red and white and black theme I found these amazing mustache napkins because I'm obsessed with mustaches and there's a pack what is this it was a pack of 20 from the Christmas tree shop like I got them like a, a month or two ago when I went home and I found them and I was like, it's a dollar, like I'm getting these. So I was thinking of getting creative and like a decoupaging, do a little arts and craftsiness on this and kind of get some poster board and decoupage and put the napkins behind me. Would that be too much? I'm not thinking the whole thing over here. I'm thinking like maybe like a strip, it's kind of like an accent of wallpaper or something. Um, but I think it's a really good pop of color. Like, wouldn't that be fun? Wouldn't that be fun? Yeah, it would. And it's like the nice chevron pattern, so I think that's going to be fun. So look for that to come. Um, let's see. Next, since we're talking about decoration for life. Uh, I've had this for a while. I don't think I ever did a favorite or a review on them. But the, uh, they are these Diane von Furstenberg for home um, cup... No, not cup holders. What are they called? Coasters. Um... I got them from TJ Maxx. I can't remember the price because it was a while ago, like I said. But it's this cute container, and there's four of them in here. I can only find two of them right now because I'm using them somewhere else. But um, it's this nice black and white pattern, just like a fun little pop of color. Well, not color, but pop of shades and pattern, as you will. Um, I would say the only thing I don't like, and maybe it's because I got them from TJ Maxx, is that they're not flat. Like, can you see? You can see that it's kind of bent. So when you set... Yeah, perfect. Perfect example. Like, see? It's, like, not flat. Um, so when you set, like, a cup on it, like, make sure it's, like, a heavy one. I would never put a solo cup on this. Not that I have solo cups. I have mason jars that I use. But um, make sure whatever you're putting on here is, like, a little bit heavier so it can, like, flatten it a little bit. 
And so those are fun. I love those. Diane von Furstenberg. Um, and next, since we're sticking to the home theme, um, I've been loving a scent. I might have talked about it before, but it's from Bath and Body Works, and it is the Black Tie Candle. Um, it's a newer fragrance as of, I want to say, end of 2013 into, ooh, my eye, into 2014. Um, and it is uh, such a good smell. Um, it's gray black. It smells amazing. Uh, if you were ever looking for like a mandal, so to speak, or like a man scent, um, or a more masculine smell, so to speak, this is definitely the smell for you. It smells like a really handsome cologne. Awkward to say, like weird to say, but it's a very good smell. Ugh, smells really good. And it's got a bow tie on it, because bow ties are in. Speaking of bow ties, I bought a bow tie. Um, I'm cheating a little bit because it's the one you wrap around and like um, secure, but I've never put a bow tie on in my life. I know I will learn one day, but until that day comes, I got this cute uh, navy blue and white stripe bow tie, and I was with my friend Kelly and Jake shopping. We got this from H&M. Sorry for the noise. Um, got this from H&M for $13. And I was like, oh, obviously it'll go with a blue shirt, but we were starting to put it with the shirts all around the store. It fit with, like, every kind of shirt. Like, the mismatchiness made it match, um, which I think for bow tie is acceptable. And it looks pretty good. So, um, I can't wait to wear this around soon. Yay! With a nice blazer. So that's that. Um, sticking with scents, this is, um, YSL, aka Yves Saint Laurent. Um, Om, uh, Om Libre, which is like a newer fragrance. It's very, um, fresh smelling. I don't know how to describe it. I cannot describe this as into different scents. It's very good. I recommend you try it if you're at a Macy's or, um, a Lord & Taylor or a place where they sell, um, uh, like Sephora, like a higher end, um, fragrance, because this was not cheap. Um, that's why I use it very sparingly. So, that's amazing. Next, we'll go on to, I think I've done this before, it's the Mint Julep Lip Scrub from Lush. Um, it's just like a sugar scrub. Mm. It's a sugar scrub, you just put some on your finger and then scrub it around and then you can lick it off. It tastes delicious. I mean, don't eat it, just don't put it on, just eat it. Um, it's always good to exfoliate your lips to get rid of the dry skin, not only on your body, but on your lips. Next, we will do this deodorant. So, I, this is where I need a little help from you guys. So, it's always good to rotate your deodorants because after a while, your body gets used to it and you might not feel as refreshed. It might not take the smell away, um, etc. All types of those things. So, I tried to use the old F Spice Fresh kind. It didn't burn my skin, so that's good, like um, an Adidas brand would. That tears my skin apart like I put it on and it ooh, it just is the worst pain in the world but um this gave me no pain but after about a week when I was looking in the mirror one day after my shower I had this big red like uh, rash I guess right here it was huge it was very very red and I was like I was baffled because I wasn't it wasn't in, it didn't hurt at all so I stopped using it and went back to my degree and this went away so I'm upset that I can't use this. I have sensitive skin, obviously. So if you have any recommendations for a sensitive skin deodorant other than Degree, let me know because I need to change mine. I've been using Degree for too long and it's always good to rotate those. So help me find a new one. I have to throw this out. I feel so bad. I bought two of them, a two pack, so I'm pissed. But ooh, at least I won't have a rash anymore. So that's good. Um, Nasacort. This is a lifesaver. My allergies are so bad. I always take a Claritin D. I've been taking it for about a month. And my allergy season is like beginning of April to end of October. It's very, very long. Um, and if I don't take at least a Claritin D or a Zyrtec D, um, I will... I just can't function. I'm drippy. I'm gooey. I can't breathe. It's horrible for me. Um, and now that Nasacor is over the counter, at least here in New York, um... I got the 120 pump, and I've been using this for about a month. You do two sprays in each nostril, and then you slowly wean yourself to one spray in each nostril. Each, each nostril, 
Um, and this, this, in addition to my Claritin D every single day, uh, I can breathe, I, I feel good, I don't have any headaches, um, so that's a lifesaver. They come in 120 pump and 60 pump. They also, um, this becomes removable, so you can um, clean it, and they recommend you do, so I recommend you do as well. Um, and yeah, for anyone who has really bad allergies, this, in addition to the Claritin D or Zyrtec D, is phenomenal. So that's good. And then last but not least, um, some juice for technology is the Tigo Power Power Brick. I believe this is 26 or 29 um, milliamp hours. So it's perfect for my Samsung Galaxy S4, which is 26 milliamp hours, which um, provides at least one full charge. If I charge this at about 40% on my phone, um, I can get to 100 and then like I one more quick charge just for like 5 more percent. Um, this is perfect for traveling. You could do two USB ports. Um, it's 2.1 amp output, which is perfect for the new phones today because iPhone 4 and 4S was the generation of one amp output and 2.1 charges your phone much faster little tech lesson for the day. Um, so you could do two devices at once, they both output 2.1, um, what else? And then this is where you charge it with a micro USB, hook it up to your computer, uh, or you could charge it through the wall. I just hook it up at um, work and take it with me on the go in my bag. So with that being said, those are a couple of my favorites. The most important ones anyway, um, aside from like Lysol wipes that are always a favorite when I clean my bathroom or whatnot. So that being said, have a great day. I'm going to make some more videos, um, try to make this a more regular thing. Now that I have natural light, it's much more pleasant for me to want to make these. And thank you to Chris, my roommate, who has allowed me to use his wonderful tripod, which is how I'm coming to you with such a great angle. And um, no ghetto setup with like a bookshelf and some books and then my camera. So yeah, thank you for watching and have a fantastic weekend. Enjoy the weather and get out and be active. Yay, love you, bye.